Hi and welcome to another episode of Making Things. Today I'll be showing you how to make electrode terminals for a spot welder for under three dollars a piece. That's three dollars Canadian, so like eighty cents US. Ooh. Right. So I'll be making the electrode holders for my spot welder now, and what I'm going to be using is uh, these brass end caps because uh, they were easily available, uh, two bucks. Um, and I'm going to be making the electrodes just out of 10 gauge. Come on. I'm going to be making these out of 10 gauge single core wire. So I'll be drilling three holes. Uh, the first is a 7 16th through hole that has to go down at the base. On the side, I'm going to be drilling uh, one eighth hole to put an A32 uh, top in there to use these little brass knurled head screws. And on the other side, I'm going to be making a 5 16 hole for uh, soldering to the end of the single gauge wire I'm using for uh, my leads. And uh, just a uh, Little thank you to my little sister who actually made this vice for me. It's beautiful and I couldn't ask for better as far as holding something on my table. And to my wonderful wife who made this vinyl cover for my drill press to prevent marring. But today I'm not going to be needing that, so ah, might as well leave it. It can't hurt. But. Oh, that's what happens when you're still in the process of building the shop. You can't find stuff. Everything gets moved. And yes, I am putting a lot of this, but it's because I don't have proper machining lubricant on hand. So it's a bit thicker than what would be prescribed. And also, these aren't necessarily the best bits. So. What I'll be doing is I'll be soldering the... Um, one gauge wire inside the core here, um, in the large hole, obviously, and the electrode. Dirt cheap, 10 gauge wire. I bought a foot of it. I've got as many electrodes as I'll ever need, I think, because that's three wires. I've got about three linear feet of these. I'll be good. All right. And uh, as far as working with metal, I'm actually not, I usually work with wood, plastics, elect electronics and electrical stuff, sure, but I don't actually work metal all that much. And I have to say this is probably my most complex piece ever, honestly, with three cuts. Like that's not, and I'm not saying that's very complex, it's a fairly simple piece. But I have to say, I'm thoroughly enjoying this. It's it's really nice, especially brass. I mean, I'm guessing it must be different with different metals, but of course it's different with different metals. I mean, I've cut metals, I've made holes, I've cut sheet goods and, you know, basic stuff, but just drilling through this brass is it's buttery smooth. It's like, it's like working with a really nice piece of you know, maple with a sharp blade or compared to, say, working with walnut, which is almost like Explosive. So this brass is it's really nice to work with. 
And yeah, I get it. It's kind of weird to be comparing <laughs> the texture of drilling through a metal with different types of woods, but that's that's what I know and Alright, and now it's time to tap. Just a regular old tap set. in here. Now this would normally bottom out because I would have the one gauge in there already but oh yeah oh beautiful it's a little big but as long as I keep it on the outside won't be an issue perfect Alright, I had a bit of a brain fart there. What I needed was 7 64ths, not 5 64ths. My bad. So I actually made a bit of a mistake. I should not have gone through with the 7 16th bit. Um, it'll make it a lot harder to solder now, because if I get tin in there, it's going to be really hard, so... If I'd only made the hole from the top first and either made the 7 16th hole at the bottom not all the way through or waited till after this was soldered on before making it, uh, this would have been quite a bit easier. So now I'm going to solder the end of my leads onto the electrode holders I've made. I'm going to add a bit of flux. I took way too much in there. All right, so luckily this has a huge jacket of insulation, but it actually, like, it burns my hands <laughs> like 10 inches in, so I can't really go any closer than this. So in my other videos, when I talk about, you know, that heat sinking effect, where you don't want to be supplying heat for a long time when you've got something connected to your battery. This is a great example of why. I mean, you can barely touch it at, what, four inches from where I was soldering? Like, not for more than half a second. Well, I mean, I guess I could, but I seriously don't want to. Now I'm gonna retap these. And the electrode holders are going to be a done deal. Well, so obviously you can put something bigger in here. Even with the 7 16ths, actually, I can probably go down to 8 
gauge in here, no problem. Um, but I like I like the size. It's fairly flexible. It's it's certainly big enough for what I'll be doing. For more details, you, you can check out my instructables where I go over uh, the the entire process of building the spot welder, and I've got a lot more details on the uh, sizing for making the holes. If this was helpful to you, please like, subscribe, leave your feedback. Have a good day.